good morning friends today we are going to learn the next part of module 3 old man and the sea novel by ernest hemingway in the previous part we learned about the what are the particular words used in the novel and biographical details of Ernest Hemingway The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway Ernest Hemingway is early years born in Oak Park Illinois was and he was the son of a doctor and music teacher at the age of 18 he volunteered as an ambulance driver in Italy during world war first where he was badly injured in that particular event of world war first he worked as a reporter as well he started his writing career as a reporter for the kansas city star In 1921 he served as a correspondent in Paris for the Toronto Daily Star. He achieved fame as a chronicler of the disaffection felt by many American youth after World War I. From this biographical details we can understand how he is one of the representative of war situation and <clears throat> how he suffered and one of the part of that world war first in 1936 he wrote for esquire about a cuban fisherman covered the spanish civil war in that particular journal he wrote <clears throat> about the spanish civil war and its effects on the people he is also called as a adventurer because when he was in paris in 1920s he fell in with a group of expatriate writers a big game hunter in africa africa <coughs> and a weird fisherman in cuba see this is his biographical details hemingway <coughs> also a boxer a bull fighter and a huge fan of baseball this biographical details to some extent we can see in his novel which is prescribed for you the old man and the sea he won a bronze star in world war second as a war correspondent in combat he flew in small planes to dangerous places crashed twice his plane also crashed twice during world war second see he is a representative of world war first and world war second as well He married four women and divorced three. A macho man personified. He personified as a macho man. The famous novelist. His career graph increased as a famous novelist. His novel Sun Also Rises, 1926, and A Farewell to Arms, 1929, established him. as a dominant literary voice of his time in both of these novels he represented the war situations contemporary life of the common people and his biographical details come in this those particular novels for whom the bell tolls is published in 1940 it is during the second world war 
novel he won the pulitzer prize and the nobel prize for the old man and the sea in 1953 he was awarded the medal of honor by batista the former dictator of cuba this this three hours the three r very important novels of ernest hemingway his latter years he nicknamed himself as papa had a white grizzly beard and jolly looking face if you see the picture of ernest hemingway in previous lecture <coughs> or on internet you will come to know why he is named as him, himself as papa his father committed suicide he became very pa- paranoid and depressed because of his father's death in 1961 at the age of 61 he killed himself with a shotgun in ketchum idaho his writing style very terse he uses a condensed sentence structure and simple language if you read out for the whom will tolls the sun also rises or your prescribed novel the old man and the sea you will come to understand how his sentence structure is condensed and the simple language he was revolutionary for his time and was imitated by generations of young writers as he he was representative of world war first and second many writers followed him for their writing and future career characterization of santiago santiago is a protagonist of the novel old man and the sea who is a skilled fisherman who has a deep respect for the sea and all of nature see in this particular novel the nature also one of the important representative for us elderly very poor character of santiago is represented by ernest hemingway as a fisherman he is a representative of common people confident despite periodic setbacks or failures most of the time he never got fish but he he is that much confident despite periodic setbacks or failures he never depressed determined feels it is a scene or scene to lose hope see his opinion that it is a scene to lose hope in every situation he never loses his hopes for fishing as he was a fisherman it teaches you the philosophy of life how to lead life in any situation in struggling situation you should not go sit back or get depressed he feel proud in any situation here he was also a humble character idolized joy dimagio for his return to baseball he he was very favorite his favorite baseball player john dimagio in novel every time there is a situation of depression and he always think go in past and remember john dimagio for his return to baseball despite a battle with bone spurs loved baseball 
old man loved baseball very much loved maloney manolin and taught him how to fish all of his skill expertise and love of nature will live on through the boy manolin is a character a boy who always go for the fishing with old man and learn techniques of fishing from old man so old man think that he will be the representative of himself old man was lonely that's why he is called as a christ like character christ is also a lonely character and symbolically old man presented as a christ next character manolin minor character but he is also always with old man truly loves and respects the old man always tries to live with him a nurturer to santiago he also encourages santiago the old man for his fishing and his techniques he will learn all santiago has to teach him about fishing the sea and his respect for nature as well we can see if we read the novel we come to know how santiago teaches him about fishing and boy is also interested in those things he will carry on santiago's legacy through him santiago will never die santiago himself creates manolin's character and think that he will carry his legacy with him what is the point of view used in this particular novel third person limited omniscient narrator is used for the presentation of the novel Fo- the novel focuses on santiago the protagonist of the novel helping us to understand his character and feel his emotions uses an introspective monologue when santiago is alone on the sea those introspective monologues are most important when we read the novel we can underline it and read again and come to know how his character is very much hopeful about the life and about the nature he allows the reader to sympathize with santiago and his plight this third person narrator allows the reader to sympathize with santiago in and his plight we can imagine how old man suffered struggled for the fishing but never loses his hope the stream of consciousness technique is used if you read about stream of consciousness technique what is the concept you will come to know how the past events are remembered by the characters in the present life those thoughts thought came into the mind of the character and he remembers the past events hemingway has santiago flash back to various events or memories of his life out of consecutive order randomly while he is semi delirious on the water after being out to sea with very little food for a few days this helps his plight or ordeal seem realistic it also helps to provide additional background information see in it little bit past experiences past memories are raised for the old man's plight and his presentation of his struggle 
setting what kind of setting is used here time period late 1940s the period of world war second the book span a period of 5 days the place <coughs> a small fishing village near havana cuba in a shack in a boat on the waters of the gulf of mexico see this setting particularly about the for for the novel is used where we can see the place where the population is very place is used and the plight of fisherman the old man is presented through this kind of setting flashbacks what are the flashbacks used in this novel he is wrestling match with the el negro in cliffogos from when he was younger and in his prime the pictures of his wife suggesting his past life with her those memories and flashbacks are used to represent the old man's struggle in his present life the memories of the two marlins that he and Man- manolin encountered on a previous fishing trip he remembers when he fished with manolin and would talk to him to prevent becoming lonely see through this flashback through this memories arnest hemingway presented his protagonist the old man santiago and through that we can understand how santiago is a hopeful character he never depressed in any situation how he loses his marlin fish but he again become hopeful for the fishing it gives the lessons to the life to the young persons young people like you never lose hope in any situation and in the in that in this way we can understand the old man and the sea is a novel about the hopefulness hope and for the hope for the future life and better life so and this is about arnest hemingway's biographical details as well as the details of the old man and the sea his character what are what kind of point of view is used flashback and stream of consciousness technique is used in this particular novel in next part we will see the minor characters till then thank you